What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's the first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, as always guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to talk a little bit about a, a story I seen this morning out in New York City. Shout out NYC. And uh, before I get into that, I want to wish everybody a, a happy and safe Memorial Day. You know, it's Memorial Day weekend. Today's Memorial Day. And it's a time of observation of those that lost their lives. For us to even be where we are in this country right now, both on and off the battlefield. So shout out to the veterans, you know what I'm saying? But this story right here, you know, I want to talk about it's out of New York City. And uh, shout out NYC. And it's about this guy I pictured up here, man. This guy is Niall Taylor, age 49. He's been arrested. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at that picture, he's holding two cans of flammable liquid, two like two tin cans with flammable substance in it. This guy was running around and throwing this on people. And he said this is not the first time he did this. Uh, some people have been hurt or one person's been hurt and hospitalized and they're making a recovery right now. And uh, he'd done this before. Like I said, there's crazy and then there's a different type of crazy. Now, subways all over America, you know. Or havens for crime, whether on the train or off of. But this right here is something that needs national attention. For the longest time, it's needed national attention. I've done countless stories on people getting tore up in subways all over the place, mainly in New York. I think, honestly, man, they don't have a clue how to stop this type of uh, random violence. And it's, you know what? Look at the video and we'll come back and really talk about this. A man is facing charges tonight, accused of setting a subway rider on fire, causing significant burns to the victim's body. And police tell us the same sus suspect was behind a similar attack. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal has that story from Lower Manhattan. It happened here on Saturday afternoon at the Houston Street Station platform on the one train line. Officers were called here on this holiday weekend for an assault in progress to find 23-year-old Patrick Aliyai with his shirt off and burns. Investigators say a homeless man, now identified as Niall Taylor, threw a flammable liquid on the victim for no reason and took off. This is horrifying. Some subway riders like Chloe Leone are on guard when underground. Hopefully people are traveling in pairs so that they can stay safe. I'm praying for the person who was burned. It's very tragic. Now, this isn't the first time Taylor has done this. Detectives say back in February, he threw a lit container of flammable liquid at a group of people standing on the southbound one train platform at the West 28th Street station. No one was hurt. This crazy stuff happens every day. Like, that's awful. I take this train a lot. For his recent alleged crime, 49-year-old Taylor was caught near the Holland Tunnel and now is facing charges, including attempted assault, reckless endangerment, Endangerment and arson. And for commuters who have no choice but to use the subways, you just have to be alert and keep your eyes open. We're in New York City and we're just, I feel like we're risking it every day. Police say the victim is recovering at New York Presbyterian and thankfully he's expected to survive. In Hudson Square, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. Like I said, man, you know, before there's crazy and then there's a different kind of crazy, and that is a different kind of crazy. Can you imagine that? You're just trying to go to work. Somebody just see you and just start screaming on you like you did something heinous to them. Light some stuff and just stand there like, I throw it on you. Look at his face. Eyes bugged out. He could have threw that on somebody or tried to throw that on somebody. They move and it landed on somebody pushing a baby or somebody holding a baby. Man, it's wild out here. It is absolutely wild. It seems like a lot of people that's supposed to keep law and order don't have no clue on what to do or... uh. How to even stop this from to begin with. Or they don't care. This is craziness. I mean, th this is my thing. Can you imagine being in a confined space or something like that? Now, he was at a turnstile with that. Could you imagine if he had lit that shit up on a, on a bus or on a train that's in motion between stop to stop? You sitting there, he just jump up, start cussing at you. You sitting down on a crowded train that's packed and he's next to you and he got these things lit. His eyes bugged out and he about to throw that shit on you. What do you do? You can't even move out the way. 
That's why, man, I think honestly, man, you know, certain scenarios or certain times, man, they need to let people, man, have the right to defend themselves. It's no way I would get on the uh, train in New York or anywhere else where a crazy crime occurred, where it has a high crime area without something to defend myself. I wouldn't. And I, I'll just take my uh, I, I'll take my uh, chances. Seriously. You want somebody to throw some hot liquid on you? Listen, guys, if that get on you, regardless of if it's a flammable liquid or not, if it gets on you and we all been burnt before. Once that gets on you, by the time you put it out within seconds, the damage is already done. And this guy right here, they said is a homeless guy with mental problems. He's a homeless guy. So, you know, whatever flammable liquid he got is something you can really get with pocket change. Lighter fluid. Kerosene. Lamp oil, just anything, whatever it is, is viscous and it's uh, flammable. If it gets on your skin, it's over. You're going to at least lose pigment. And if he throws it, you think he's going to be skillfully enough to just get it on you? A lot of people are at risk. That's a dangerous scenario, being in a position where you corner and just got to take the onslaught of somebody's uh, attack. Oh, man, it's just scary out here for real. It's some scary scenarios. You on your way to work and get burnt the fuck up or stabbed up or raise it to your fucking face. Now, cops can't be every anywhere and everywhere at once. They can't. That's why a normal citizen should have a right to have something on them to make sure they don't get the brunt of the blows from the uh, victimizer. Sometimes we need to turn the tables. And that's the truth. That's the truth. And it ain't about spreading violence or nothing, but it's about having violence not happen to you or have somebody think twice before committing violence on you. You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something. We all go through this thing. When you when you are violated by somebody, you know, or victimized, let me say victimized. In the heat of that whole thing going on or, you know, about to go down and you know that you're the intended target of someone you don't know. The main thing that goes through your head is, why is this happening to me? Why is he picking me out of everybody else? If you get stuck on that, man, a lot of times you wind up getting victimized. We try to process things as they're happening from something that's unprocessable at that time. The way I look at this stuff, type of stuff is not why me, you know, instead of why me, you know, and like it. Let me just say this. Instead of me looking at it as why me, I look at it as, OK, now, I mean, this because I've been through this a lot of time, not this type of scenario, but just people just coming out of nowhere and just picking you out of everybody. I turn it into like, OK. Obviously, this person right here thinks is something in me out of everybody on this thing where he wants to achieve his objective on me. I can't let that happen. For real. And I, that's just how I think. You know, it took me a while to stay in process before I went to tell you because I wanted to make it sound. I didn't want it to sound like I was like inciting violence or just telling you, you know, how you should think. It's just how I think because I've been through scenarios like this before, not to the point of getting stuff thrown on me, but having people feel as though I'm going to pick him out of the whole crowd and to exact my, uh, you know, what I want to do to somebody to send an example won't be me. Won't be me. Hell to the no. But I mean, scenarios like this where somebody's throwing something on you unsuspected, looking at a book or whatever. It's crazy. But I'm going to tell you something. And this is another thing. A lot of people out there, when this type of stuff is going on, they try to act like, you know, make not make eye contact and act like they, they don't see it or they try to act normal with somebody in their spasm. Y'all better keep your head on swivel. You ain't got to make direct eye contact because you're scared of somebody going to point you out when you make eye contact with them. But you better pay attention because stuff like this where people are throwing something on mass in the crowd, you can be a, a victim of it, too, because of the splash. On I mean, people be, have had mental illness for years, since the beginning of the time almost. But uh, now it's like everybody has mental illness. And it's like. Come on. Come on, like, like when does this end? When? You're sitting up here, minding your business, you're going to work. Some of these people have to catch the train. They have no choice 
but to get on that train and pray that they make it to and fro their destination back to their houses. Now, what it's like almost you ever see the running of the wildebeest and uh, the migration of the wildebeest in uh, Africa when they show them migrating lions. I mean, yeah, they got the lions, hyenas, crocodiles. They got to go through all this different terrain to get from one place to another. And it seems like that's what's going on with people nowadays on their way to work. Man is still an animal. And the great migration, you know, to and from work is no different than what I just described to you. And it shouldn't be. I've never seen so many people that are mentally ill now or some type of crazy how people say it, just out, outwardly violent. I don't see no end in sight. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.